a DIY racking pin. My wife and I are following the same program and work out together. She's five feet five, I'm 6'1", and this means that our racking pins or J-hooks are set at different heights. Here, the J-hook is set at my wife's squat height, which is too low for me. Not a huge deal, as we can move them around, but in the spirit of optimizing our time in the gym, we're ordering additional J-hooks. Delivery, however, is not for three months. So, I decided we need some interim solution. The design must support about 350 pounds, preferably more. It must allow for pin height to be changed, and it must allow for bar repositioning in the horizontal plane. I must be able to move the bar left and right, because I don't always rack it right in the middle. As my power rack is three by three uprights with one inch pin holes, this design is using eight inch long, half inch black iron pipe, black iron floor flanges, and one inch white PEX pipe. Using black iron pipe, I should be able to support in excess of 500 pounds. After sliding the pipe through the power rack upright, we secure one end of the racking pin. Screw this end on tightly. Then screw the other end on lightly. This will butt up against the power rack upright and will allow us to remove it to change the racking pin height positions. Now we have a relief on the other side, which is where we will rack the bar. But many people don't like metal on metal contact with their barbell. They don't want to damage it in any way. So we will be adding a PEX pipe covering to protect that. Now this serves two purposes for us. Firstly, it keeps the relief exposed. So if I'm re-racking the barbell, I don't push the peg through and suddenly don't have anywhere to re-rack the barbell. Secondly, it enables the bar to be moved horizontally with relative ease. And that's it. It's really that simple a peg, two ends, and a plastic pipe. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that it helps you out in some way. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.